This will be a short video for people new to fire alarms or for people who only need to use them occasionally when it starts beeping. Hopefully your system stays in normal condition most of the time with just the green AC power light and you don't have any lights on your fire alarm, trouble, or supervisory. Now let's briefly talk about trouble conditions. If the power goes out in your building, the panel may go into a power saving mode. It's going to tell you AC line fault. That's just telling you the power is out. There's nothing you can do until the power comes back on. The panel will return to normal when the power is restored. A battery fault can also occur on the system. Your batteries may be old and not holding a charge, or in this case, a wire came off. So we'll need to reconnect that. Once the fault is repaired, the system returns to normal without having to reset. If a device is removed or tampered with, that will also cause a trouble. That fault will remain on the system until the detector is reinstalled or the problem is fixed. And wait for the system to return to normal. A disconnected or broken wire might cause many troubles on the system. Because these devices are no longer communicating, they're not blinking. Depending on how many devices are offline, you may need to press the trouble acknowledge multiple times to get the panel to stop beeping. You can use the navigation buttons on the panel to scroll what devices are offline. The only way to clear those troubles is to repair the issue. If a wire gets pinched in a metal box or above the ceiling, or if a device gets wet, the system will indicate a ground fault that will not go away until the cause of the issue is found and repaired. You'll notice in all those cases of trouble condition, we did not attempt to reset it. What needs to be done is the problem that's causing the trouble condition needs to be resolved. This is a supervisory condition. It's not a trouble and it's not a fire alarm, but it is a monitored device that's saying it's off normal. So in this case, you need to check the sprinklers for the elevator and see if someone turned off the valve. Reopening the sprinkler valve should resolve that issue. Notice in this case a reset was not necessary. Sometimes though a system can be programmed so that a supervisory needs to be reset after you reopen the valve. This is a CO hazard alarm. This is usually initiated by a carbon monoxide sensor or a gas sensor. Depending on the panel, some systems might be programmed to trigger the supervisory or the fire alarm, depending on the specifications of the job.